So who have we got this afternoon? Who are we playing? Just me and you. Oh. Have we not got a game this afternoon? We've had a Duma. Oh, yeah. Well caddied though. Thanks. Got the yardages right, which was a start. That is a start. <laughs> Right guys, Dan Hendrickson here. We are at Bovey Castle Golf Club today. We're down here for the match play and unfortunately things haven't gone to plan after the morning round. So we thought we'd do a little video for you. And we've come down onto the short game area which is absolutely superb down here. And we thought we'd share with you a few of our little shots that we do around the greens that might be able to help you with your game. So we found ourselves in a bit of a, well, I found myself in a few issues. I drag you along with me as you were on the bag, but there were situations out on the golf course, certainly in that round that we've just played, where the grass around the green, especially the thick rough, is very lush, isn't it? I mean, we're at a time of year, we're coming into autumn, so the, the, not only was it thick, but it was also, because we played early in the morning, it was quite wet. Yes. So it was wet and thick, which yes. is, different to what we've experienced in the previous few months. Yeah, where it's been quite wispy, dry, right. you know, grass. Almost is, dead. Yeah, almost dead, where we've, where it's, it's almost easier to chip, chip from those situations. Some might argue that it's not as easy because it's quite firm underneath and people get a bit of bounce and things like that, but I always find it a little bit yeah. easier. It's when you get into this lush grass around the edge of the greens where you can get some inconsistencies. And I thought we could share with them today um, what, we would do in situations around this edge of the green. Particularly as well with this golf course, it's relatively short in yardage, so the greens are small targets. Yeah. So the rough is quite actually close to the green. You're only a couple of paces off yeah. the green into thick rough. You've got like three or four feet from the, from the actual green into a, a semi straight into the long stuff. Yeah. It's tough. So it's tough. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw a few balls around this chipping green here today and we're going to play a few different shots. Now, I play it, might play it slightly different to the way Leicester plays it, but I thought if we share with you our kind of the, both the ways we'd play it, then hopefully you guys might be able to pick up something yourselves. So let's, um, let's chuck a few balls down, shall we? First position then, Leicester. Yep. Let's just chuck, some, chuck a ball down in that area there. So he's going to just drop it. That's it. Okay, so that's sat okay, isn't it? It's kind of nestled down a little yeah. bit here. If we spin it round, it's kind of, there's a bit of grass between sort of club face and ball as you come in, but it has kind of poached, poached down, isn't it? Sort of it sat has, down yeah. in there, almost like a semi-plugged position from there. So that's not actually too bad. No. Now we're gonna to go to this front left pin here. Yeah. How are you, what are you sort of thinking when you're coming into a shot like so this? Obviously from here, I'm looking at, I'm looking at the green and how it, it lays. Yeah. So you'll notice it's uphill to start with. Yeah. And then we're slightly down towards the hole. Okay. Um, so obviously it's going to, once it gets onto that putting surface, it's going to run to the hole. Okay. And how are you expecting the ball to react out of this lie? I'm Do you really have any idea? With, with, yeah, very little spin I'd say, and it's probably going to, I think it'll probably almost release, release down towards the hole. Okay. Let's get yourself set up then, and how are you going to look to play it? So you've got 58 okay, I've degrees. Got 58 degrees. Yeah. But I'm going to slightly, I'm going to play handle forward, and I'm going to play, so I'm going to actually take a little bit loft off the club. Yes. Um, just to, to hopefully improve my strike. Okay. And to also get that ball running. So you're forward. not really going to use any bounce on I'm the not, club. No, are I'm you? always going to remove, remove as much bounce as possible by having my handle forward. Because you want that club to dig in. I want it to dig in and to pop the ball up. Okay. Well, let's... Um, so I'm going to try and land this yeah. in the fringe. Just take a little bit off it and let it just trickle down to the hole. That's the idea anyway. Okay, because you think it's going to really I think it's going release to run, out. Yeah. Okay, and where's the ball position there? Okay, ball position's on my right foot. Okay, and where so, do I mean, you right feel on, my toe. on your tiptoe of your yeah. right foot? Where do you feel like the weight of the your... The weight's forward as well. Again, so you're leaning slightly yeah, forward? Yeah, slightly leaning shaft and leaning forward. Okay. Shall have a little go? Yeah. So you're not going to try and help this up in any way, are no, you? No, I'm not, no. I'm going to get you it running. Keep the hands forward yep. and let it release down. Oh, that. So through it a little bit way further. Yeah, way too far. But that's more the inconsistency, isn't it? Yeah. Like you say, holding your handle forward is taking loft off the club. Yeah. Um, that's the inconsistency of you not really knowing what it's going to do as it comes out. No, it's just, it's literally hopped out probably two foot further than I thought it would. I thought it was yeah. going to land here. Yeah. And in reality, it's landed 
about it. Yeah, it's got it, certainly got it on the green. And then it's released out it's four or five out. foot past the cup. It's not an awful shot, but it's not, I think I can do better. But it's frustrating, isn't it? When you're now left with, with yeah. what should be a pretty straightforward shot off the edge of the green, to now be left with a five footer for your, for your par. I mean, if you think it's annoying, when, you're, when you're playing, I'm probably, I'm only probably 15, 16 foot away from the hole, but yeah. I've got a lie like that. So I probably in reality hit a decent second shot in or approach shot, but left myself with a tricky chip. Right, I'm gonna try and replicate your lie. So I've just popped it down in there. So you can yeah. see if you come on in, you can see that we've got it sort of sat down quite nicely. Yeah. Um, bit of grass between club face and ball, but it really has. It's okay. almost like a bit of a plug lie, isn't it? Yeah, semi-plugged, I'd say. Semi-plugged. Now, yeah. so... So what are you doing differently then? Well, I, what I do, you see, what, I, what my biggest concern is from here is it could... I mean, you, you're expecting it to come out... I mean, yours came out quite hot. Yeah. Um, and I'm expecting this to come out almost a little bit dead, or I'm concerned about it coming out. A little bit dead. I would say I, I reacted slightly to the way you played some chips earlier when you were playing. They came yeah. out very dead, yeah. and the ball almost sort of I don't want to say duffed it out, yeah. but it came out so dead that you didn't make the green. So I was making sure that I was positive to get that ball onto that surface and running. Well, so what I do here is I actually open the face up a little bit, okay. whereas you had handle forward, taking loft off. So you're adding bounce, down. adding a bit of bounce to it. I'm adding a little bit of bounce and because I, I want the club to go into the ground and then come, come out, out with the ball almost. Okay. But, and this is something I learned in America playing in a bit of the Bermuda grass, and this yep. is one of the lads taught me this shot pretty early on in my, in my uh, college days, was I kind of play this as what I call my little pop shot. So what, it, what I do is I almost try and leave, I leave the club in the ground. Oh, okay. So I'm, I'm accelerating down, but I'm not allowing the club to come up through because I'm concerned I could actually double hit this. Yeah. Um, so I, this is where I get a little, what I call a little pop shot. And again, I'm looking to land it just on the green because I want to get rid of all this area at the front here. Oh. Now my weight goes forward like yours, but I've got it kind of off my left heel here. Yeah. Now my handle, I don't feel like I push my handle forward because I'm not looking to try and de-loft this club. I'm just going to try and keep my handle pretty neutral as a, and as, as a wood for a normal shot, keeping my weight forward. And then I feel like I hinge the club back a little bit on the way back and then just let the club pop down into the, into the actual ground just before the ball, expecting it to come out a little bit dead. So again, run out a little bit. So it's popped out quite a lot, isn't it? So you can see there, that's probably landed. Yeah, you landed for way further here. than I did, yeah. So that situation, it didn't come out dead. I could feel the club almost bounce on me as it came up through, but it, what it did is it guaranteed that I got it out of this lie. I see so many people trying to almost scoop it out of this lie, and then they just got to fluff it into this position here. I would also say that with that shot as well, because it's downhill, there's no way you want to leave it here, your next putt. No. Because you're not, you're, too, you're realistically two putting that. At least where we've hit that shot, yeah. it's given us the best chance of making par. And also, they've both gone past the pin, which is what we can watch that we shot. Can, we so can watch it almost it's gone past. exactly. Yeah. So they've both, you can see where they've both ended up. They've both broken round to the right hand side. side as they've gone through. So we've got a really good, good read on that. idea on a read before we even yeah. go and hit that putt. Let's go find another shot. Right, Bernie. Right. Give I'm, us a stinker. Okay, give I'm us give a you the real word. stinker shot. Here we go. So, and then we're going to stand on it. What? Like you're plugging it? Yep. So it's, so it's gone right, right into the bottom so of. So you the... wouldn't, you wouldn't get a free drop from that because it's not actually plugged. It's oh, just you mean? Sat right you, down. You, oh, I see what you've done. So yeah. you've kind of, you've not buried it into the surface. It's not into the surface, but like you get. But it's know. quite a way below the actual grass itself. So that is a proper messy one, isn't Almost it? Almost so, like a US Open lie, I guess you'd call that. Yeah, I, I suppose you would. Yeah, absolutely. But so how are you going to play this? Because right. you've got a bit of a, you've learned something well, a few years ago, haven't well, you? I, I've I never remember, seen you play this shot. I remember, I don't honestly play it, but I remember a county coach, I can't remember which one even, he gave us an idea of how to play a shot similar to this. So what we're going to do... Well, there was, to be fair, there was only ever one county coach that you ever listened to. So I've never listened to, to anyone, really. have I? <laughs> <laughs> right, so that is a horrendous lie. So what they got us to do yeah. is take almost no backswing and then just accelerate massively through. So right. I'm intrigued because I, I obviously wasn't at this county coaching no. session. 
So literally, so all it's making you do is accelerate through. Yeah, a lot so of you time. get a you massive acceleration. Here. Now, are I, you? I just used to see people wanting to teach them. They'd go, yeah, just dig it straight into the ground. Yeah. So it's almost the opposite. We're actually going to accelerate through to get that ball popping up. Okay. okay let's see what you're going to do then. So, so what happens with your weight distribution and so everything? So almost, almost centre, 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 centre yeah. point of the stance. And also where my because I'm not, I don't really want to be doing that because I'm going to be digging it into the ground. Yeah. I'm actually going to put it more or less centre of the centre of my stance. Centre of your stance. Where's your weight? Is it pretty weight, neutral? Pretty neutral. So not no real lean towards the target. Nope. I'm gripping down the club as well, just for a bit of extra control. Okay. Well, let's taking. let's see it then. I see. I would be concerned with a slight. Again, another double hit going on here. Right, watch this. Like that. Well, wow, that came out a little bit dead, I suppose, but but it's yeah. out. We didn't like and that. And it shot. had a lot of control. Yeah. So what's actually happening to the the actual performance of the ball? What what's actually happening there? Because I think what's happened is it slipped right, right. up the club face because you've created so, so much, much speed. Spin. Yeah, I mean, I'm just all all like you said. All I'm trying to do is create speed through the ball. You know, if you if you get it snagged up in this, taking a longer backswing, your actual control and having to actually get that club into the correct position as it's coming down and through. Yeah. Whereas if we're only taking a small backswing, I, I presume there's less margin for error. Okay, I'm going to have like a go now. I, well, I'm going to have a go at it now. Okay. I'm going to try it. Look at oh, that. Oh, God, that They're, is grim. Like, go on, push some stuff over the top. It made even worse. There you go. Look at that. Where is that? Look at that. That is there. Mm. Proper smelly. That, I mean, that, that is a club length, club and a half off the green. Okay. So you're saying ball position more into the centre. Correct. Open the face up slightly? Yeah, slightly. Not, not, not. I wouldn't. Short I would keep it. I'd keep it very neutral. Accelerate through. Now, Correct. do you try and feel like you keep the club low? I want to yep. feel like I'm keeping it low to the ground yep. all the way through. Let feel like the ball is almost brushing up the up the club face. Okay, I'm going to feel like yeah. Let's just see it. Give it a go. Oh yeah. In. It's perfect. In. <laughs> oh, no. In. No. <laughs> That is a good shot. That yeah. is a, that's called now a Bernie shot. A Bernie shot. A I might Bernie use it shot. on a vlog. So all I felt like I did there was I, I felt like I kept the club really low to the ground. So I was scuffing back, scuffing through. But what I liked about that shot from you is the acceleration. You yeah. really feel like you're really accelerating through the shot, which allows the ball to sort of enter at the lowest point, but then slip right up the club face as it comes through, which. It might work, I mean, it might well, not it work did. for people, but yeah, I know. It's it just, just did work. I just remember it as a shot that I was taught and one that I probably should use a little bit more often. That is... Um, Different. Right, my go next. Yep, what have we got now then? Next shot. So when I was warming up here this morning, I threw balls around the green, and one of the shots that turned out was this one. Okay, so what have we got here then? So we've got ball is lying really well on the, obviously on the collar of the actual green itself. But then it's right up against this thicker rough. Now, I, I kind of thought to myself when I got set up here, I thought, how often does anyone really practice this shot? You don't, do you? Like, uh, no. But and it's I, a shot you could be faced with, particularly 100%, you know, around like, here or at this time of year. So the way I kind of approach this shot is, I mean, you see people on TV where they get their hybrids out and things like that, and I'm I'm all for one of those to, to, to kind of do that, or they kind of belly wedge it. Yeah. But this is so thick that there's really no chance of me actually being able to get that club to come back and through in through this grass. So what I kind of felt like I did, a bit like almost like my pop shot that I had in the in the rough just a moment ago, but I felt like my ball position was way off my back foot. I have my 58, which is my lo most lofty club, so if you're using a 60 or a 62, you could use something like that. But I just felt like I just just gave it a little bit of a, a little bit of a pop. So I See, that would my scare me, up. that would. That would scare, yeah. Yeah, because well, the mean, margin of error is so high. Well, we're going to see and, see what you do. And to this. get the strike, to get a perfect strike off that, you're going to have to bring that club up, down higher yeah. than the actual rough. Well, you so do. your angle of attack is going to be so steep. Uh, it's got to be. It's got to be. And there's no real. There's very little loft on the club by the time you've got your hand away forward. But I'm leaning towards my left side, all promoting this sort of. How, really much, steep how much weight have you got on your left side? Everything. Almost. Everything. Yeah, like okay. literally, I can feel it in, down my yeah, left yeah. side. So I'm just going to feel like I can, again. Not. I'm not going to go at it too hard. No. I'm just going to relax my hands a little bit, and then just feel. Yeah. Like it pops it out. It's a lovely shot. Very good. And what I, the key to that shot for me 
with soft hands. Soft hands. I yep. don't want to feel like I'm having to, you know, force, force the club it. down. I just let the club, I just kind of let the club just drop onto the ball, like like I'm barely holding the grip. Yeah. Just let the club just pop down on the ball, allow it to sort of gather up a bit of that grass, and then as the club goes in, it will just pop the ball out and then obviously release out towards the hole. I'd like to see you do this. Now. I wouldn't. You obviously don't like this shot. It's no, not something no. that's really sort of popping out to you as something you're really comfortable with. I mean, you scratching your head means you're thinking a lot. And this oh. was me kind of this morning when I see, was. See, I would, sort of I would play this. this completely differently to how you've described so far. See, I'd right. grab, I'd grab this, this club. Yeah. Okay. So Only because of the, because there's less margin per hour. Okay. And I just feel like I'm going to get it rolling. But similar, similarly to you, rather than actually putting it. Here, I'm going to lean the handle forward. Yeah, and do you think that there's an issue with any of that? Um, yeah, it's going to pop up. Grass? Yeah. So I, I think it might just jump on me a little bit. So I'm going to hit it not as hard as I would if I was here and I was putting down the hill. Yeah. So I'm going to let it pop into the ground almost like, you know, like that little pop shot you played, but with no, well, rel relatively sh lack of loft. Okay, so it's instead of using be, yeah. your 58, I'm using three, four degrees, but then de loft. Then de loft, it's a not so, a lot, well, nothing. No. Okay. Let's have a little look then. You don't like the way I'm playing this, do you? I could tell. Well... Just jumped a little bit, didn't it? But I'll probably take that it, from there. It did pop out. I mean, you yeah. can't argue with that result. result no, that that result probably. there is still a good shot, basically. Textbooks-wise, it's probably not a shot of, or people wouldn't play it like that, particularly. Maybe even the hybrid would be better, a little bit yeah. more loft. Run it through the grass, but... I would play that shot if I was playing a tournament, definitely. So there you go, there's just three shots, simple shots, that we found ourselves in tricky situations around this green. I think it's really important, as you quite rightly said... Yeah, I think it's important to have a little bit of imagination, try out different shots. There's lots of different ways to play different shots with different clubs, yep. different techniques. It's finding something that works for you consistently. Couldn't agree more. And this only, this video kind of only came about from me throwing a few balls around this green earlier this morning when I was warming up, just to sort of show a few different types of shots that I was playing. And, and I got myself into a few different sh situations that I thought, oh, I've got to think about this maybe a little bit more than what I would normally. And actually just sharing those experiences with you hopefully will help you with your game, certainly moving into the winter months, grass gets a bit claggy, things like that. Might um, give them a few ideas and a few, right. few, ways few different ways. ways yeah. Not necessarily the perfect technical way of playing every shot, but it's just how we do it ourselves. Let me know, put your comments down below. Are you doing something similar to what Leicester and I are doing? We'd like to hear what you have to say. As always, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up if you like what we're doing, and we'll catch up with you again soon.